Hello and welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. And when we went to break, I was talking with Dr. Cornice Enix, who has an, an amazing program that, design, that is designed to get more black and brown people into medical school. Uh, but before we do that, I want, I want to ask you about uh, Sigma Pi Phi fraternity. <laughs> I understand that in the, at their recent uh, uh, Grand Boule, they uh, endorsed the con concept and they uh, asked for support of 91, uh, H.R. 9105 by Congresswoman Lee. Uh, is that correct? Well, first of all, I'm very highly indebted to, to the men of Sigma Pi Phi fraternity. As a matter of fact, it was five men of Sigma Pi Phi fraternity that accompanied me to the Stanford University some seven years ago uh, when we were first initiating this, uh, this concept. And they were quite instrumental um, uh, in making it happen in that, um, in that early period. So the men of Sigma Pi Phi fraternity uh, have endorsed this concept and have actively supported it. And I think that's so important. Uh, I know the time is uh, running out quickly. Uh, Dr. Enix, could you look into that camera and, and, and tell our viewers why is it so important to have black and brown uh, physicians? So the first thing to understand is the great disparity in healthcare outcomes in this country. For example, four times the death rate, there is a four time death rate among black and brown babies as compared to white babies. There is a five year difference in life expectancy. There is a tremendous difference. And as a matter of fact, this last, um, um, COVID episode exposed the tremendous difference in how different races respond to chronic diseases. And research has demonstrated time and time again over the past 15 to 20 years, a concordance of healthcare provider and patient lends itself to better outcomes. So that is why we need here in this country and in the state more minority physicians. Better outcomes, not only is it a moral issue, but it is a financial issue. A tremendous amount of money is wasted uh, when there is only poor health care through the emergency room, through time off from work, etc. And so these are the reasons that we need more uh, minority physicians in the, uh, many of these minority communities. We need more physicians, period. When you look at California, as compared to many other states, we rank number 40 in uh, terms of per capita um, physicians. And, and on that note, we, we have run out of time, <laughs> but I want to thank you, Dr. Enix, for being my guest here on All About Community. You have been so informative in terms of the individual efforts that you are making, along with others, of course, to ensure that the pipeline into the medical uh, <clears throat> profession is filled. Don't touch that remote. We will be right back with the next segment of All About Community. And in this segment, you will hear from Bill Patterson, well-known, uh, actually, he's a legend right here in the Bay Area. So don't touch that remote. We will be right back. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest has been Dr. Cornice Enix, noted physician right here in the Bay Area. Thank you for being my guest. Thank you.